Hey guys, Troy Francis here, walking through central London. Uh, beautiful day today, and uh, yeah, just uh, wanted to catch up and talk about when women don't respond to text messages. Now, you know, an awful lot gets talked about a uh, so-called text game, which I suppose these days could be extended to incorporate a WhatsApp game. I think most people tend to use WhatsApp or even Telegram or even the DMs on Instagram or whatever it is, right? But, you know, electronic messaging game, let's say. And, um, you know, there is this issue of, okay, so you've got the woman's contact details, you're messaging her, and then suddenly she just goes dead, she goes quiet, and you don't know why, okay? And guys will often, I'm just gonna try and alter that a little bit. And, and guys will be like, well, you know, what did I do wrong? Was my, was my text game not good enough? Did I, should I have not used that emoji or should I have used this different emoji or should I not use emojis at all because that's not very alpha or should I blah, 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 you know? And um, what is the answer? Well, of course, as with all of these things, we don't know definitively ever what the specific reason is with one particular woman in one particular situation because there's just too many factors involved, right? I mean, you know, we don't know what's going on in her personal life. Did some ex-boyfriend come back into the fray? Is she undergoing some sort of personal existential crisis, which means that she doesn't really want to talk to you uh, at the moment? Has she just gone off you? You know, did you say something dumb and it just put her off, whatever? I mean, we just, we don't really know. We can make educated guesses because we can look at what you've done and obviously if you work with me, if we do some mentoring together, we can look at you know what you've been messaging her and there might be some just very obvious mistakes that you've been making, like being too needy, being too boring, being too logical and linear, whatever. Um, but beyond that, we could never know for sure. Having said that, and once again, you know, this is a, a, on a very similar topic to, or theme rather, to the last video I did, which was about uh, flaking. You know, the reality of the situation is that, you know, these women have got multiple multiple opportunities to date, okay? And, um, you know, and, and also furthermore, they have multiple opportunities to, to, to just be in touch with guys or to have guys be in touch with them. And you will have heard the old cliche about like, uh, oh, you know, she's, uh, she's living in a small town and then some dude DMs her and he's partying on a yacht in Dubai and he invites her over or Miami or one of these places and, um, Sure, I mean, that stuff's not happening all the time, but um, it certainly is happening, okay? And even if not on that dramatic scale, guys can reach out to her via social media. Uh, you know, she's gonna meet guys when she's out and about. There may even be a few lone guys who are approaching in real life. I mean, shock horror, hard to believe, I know, but there, there might still be a few of them out there. And um, yeah, you know, she's gonna get other offers. And if you are not presenting as somebody who's dynamic and interesting and exciting and engaging, somebody that she wants in her life because you make her feel a certain way, then you are gonna get left out in the cold or, or at least maybe you're not because you're her best option at the moment. But uh, if something better comes along, then she is likely to to drop you, okay? And, and that's the harsh reality of it. So if this is something that's happening to you a lot, you know, you're getting phone numbers, you're getting into conversations electronically, maybe from the dating apps as well. I mean, you know, maybe you're meeting people on Tinder or Bumble or Hinge and, you know, you're getting into text conversations with them and then they're going quiet. I mean, that's another thing that happens uh, quite frequently. If this is happening to you a lot, then obviously there is something wrong in what you are doing. And um, the likelihood is that you're just too boring. You're just not making her feel anything. Because once again, remember, what is your value to her? Well, your value to her in the modern world, in 2024, in central London or New York or Western Europe or wherever it is that you might happen to live, your value to her is, is primarily as a creator of emotion, okay? You are there to make her feel something. Now, ideally that something is sexual desire, but equally it could be excitement, it could be anticipation, it could be even things like sadness, even things like jealousy, even things like lust or want or need or craving or whatever. And too many guys, because of the way that we are conditioned and because guys are kind of very logical and also lack imagination often, 
they're not really making the woman feel anything. And they think that, okay, well, I've got this tick box of, you know, high value man attributes. So I've got a nice suit and I've got a good job and I go to the gym four times a week and, you know, I've got a car or blah, 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 whatever. Um, they think that that's going to be enough. They think that it's a simple algorithm and okay, A plus B plus C equals D. And it really doesn't. A plus B plus C equals X or Z or Y sometimes. And sometimes it, it, the same equation will equal different things. Because as I say, we're in the realm of emotion here. As far as dating is concerned, we're not in the realm of logic, all right? We, this is not something that could easily be distilled down into a simple step-by-step -step process. Although in my social attraction system program, which is a 12 week mentoring program, I actually do do that. I actually do provide um, a tried and tested and workable strategy, a workable process, and it works for my clients and they do very well from it. But nevertheless, I mean, there are still always gonna be anomalies because you're dealing with human beings and you're dealing with you know, emotion, which is ever mutable and you are dealing with, with individuals and we don't know their backstory, we don't know everything that's going on. So it's, a, it's a, not, a, not a straightforward thing. Okay, but, but fundamentally, if you want to strip it all back and you want to say, okay, so generally speaking, okay, because that's all we can do, really, we have to generalize. Generally speaking, what is often going wrong in these, in these situations, and, and we know this because we are dating coaches, you know, we work globally with, with clients all over the world. Generally, what's often going on is the guy's a bit of a boring wanker, okay? And he's not sparking emotion, he's not creating emotion, he's not doing anything that really sets our world on fire. And so, you know, somebody else comes along who seems to be shinier and brighter and have, you know, more more rears, more more going on, more edge, more presence, whatever you want to call it. You know, and she just jumps ship and she goes for the more exciting dude. Okay? And people think, oh right, so it's all to do with looks or it's all to do with money. And yeah, I mean sure those things are gonna come into play a hundred percent because it might be that somebody edges you out on the the looks front or they edge you out on the money front now it's not necessarily just the money in itself but it's like okay is that guy able to provide more interesting and exciting things to do more interesting exciting opportunities for her in, in in the dating sphere and if the answer is yes and you're also not providing the emotion then you know she's going to stop responding to your texts she's not going to reply she's going to ghost you and, and that's going to be it or there's going to be that slow fade out thing you know when she's just responding ever and ever more tardily to your messages until it just basically fades out okay that's going to happen and as i say you don't know the backstory I, don't, I certainly don't know the backstory and you very likely don't know the backstory with this particular girl you don't know what else is happening in her life you don't know who, who else has come into her life or who else has come back into her life because that's just the nature of, of modern times so um you're never going to know for sure but what you do need to bear in mind is that you need to be making these women that you're interacting with feel something okay feel something on a visceral level and it's not just about lines it's not just about okay well i said this clever thing and it's not even just about physicality i mean we talk about being sexual we talk about being that guy who's um not afraid to own his his intent and all that kind of stuff and all of that's great but you know again it's not just this tick box exercise of like oh well i put my hand on her leg so you know i put my hand on her shoulder or on her arm and so therefore you know i was being sexual so box ticked and why does she not like me i mean it's got to it's got to come through in your whole persona it's got to come through in your whole it's got to it's got to be in your in your veins all right and emanating from every pore of your body because if it isn't then you know it's just kind of fake right it's just kind of fake and she's going to know that it's inauthentic it's not you know it's not going to connect all right so <sighs> We've said this before, the dating side of this is the Trojan horse, really. This brings people through the door. The substance of what we're doing here is self-development and, and really, ultimately, the substance is, is, is transformation, is, is complete transformation. We have to become not just the best version of ourselves, we have to become the man that we were always meant to be. We have to become the man that transcends, okay? the chains that we have kept ourselves in because of society and because of how we've been taught to be and, and all of that. We have, to, we have to throw all of that off and we have to become the guy who is above all of that, who, 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 flies, who flies above all of that, who transcends, okay? And 
it's not necessarily easy. I mean, it, it can be relatively easy. Once you've figured out, okay, who do I want to be? What do I want to embody? You can just start acting like that and that can happen very quickly. For some of us, it takes a bit longer, okay? Because we really are stripping away bad habits and, and bad ways of operating that have been with us for many, many years, okay? And um, that might take you a bit longer, but ultimately that's what you need to strive for. Because if you are having, having problems in this area and the problems are consistent, then it's likely that you are just doing the wrong stuff or you're presenting in the wrong way or you're not coming across in a way that really benefits you. You know, we meet so many dudes who are, in societal terms, high value, or at least uh, they have the external trappings of being high value. They have money, they have good style, they have uh, social confidence with other guys usually, maybe not so much with women, but they have some social confidence. They have all of these different things. They're not connecting in the dating capacity, okay? And our job as coaches, as mentors, is to help them to, to do that. And often the tweaks are not actually that, that massive, but it really is about, okay, if I could be the guy whose text she's gonna to reply to every time because she can't not, then what would that guy be like? What impact would he be making on her? What, what, what impact would he be making on her soul, on her psyche? Okay, and um, you've got to work that out and then you've got to be that, okay? Easier said than done, maybe, but there you go. Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. I hope you got some benefit from this one. Do drop me a comment below. If you want to do some in-person training with me, email me TroyFrancis7Laws at gmail.com. The email address is below. Jump on a free call with me. There's a link below. I'll see you guys. Oh, and, and like the video, subscribe to the channel, etc., etc. See you guys again very soon. Bye-bye.